I turn the rib cage here, I can still make a very nice golf swing. We have that reliability. So it's two little checkpoints, but they are balanced with each other. You know, really feeling like the club weighs a good amount. Feeling like we have looseness in the arm. And now I'm going to turn that rib cage. The lesson that's utilizing something I wager most of you have, and it is your rib cage. And it is too often forgotten how much help it can give you in your golf swing. Especially when you combine the other understandable, easy elements of allowing the arms to go where they want. Having, you know, really feeling like the club weighs a good amount. Feeling like we have looseness in the arms and they are following what the larger muscles are doing. The rib cage, you know, we're not just moving the rib cage, but what it will signify is that we're moving everything together as a unit because it's very difficult to move just the arms and make a full goal swing. The rib cage has to move really somewhat. And even if you don't have a lot of mobility, like I'll exaggerate, I'll stand like this, okay? adding maybe 20 years to my life. If I turn the rib cage here, I can still make a very nice golf swing. And what I love about this move is, it's, it's wonderful to just feel that this is doing all the work for you and the arms are just following. That's what feels so wonderful, so consistent with this. We're not focused on minutia about where we need to be. Yes, I know I talked about um, the elbow pointing down, and that's where the elements of having maybe two thoughts can help you. Let's say we're in combining this, we're talking about turning the rib cage, which feels wonderful to you because you're a little bit disconnected from the hips to the upper body. We turn the upper body, the hips go with us. Now we're feeling like the left elbow still points down a little bit, okay? We have that reliability. So it's two little checkpoints, but they are balanced with each other. Here's where it's important you need to keep teaching yourself to understand what you tend to do wrong. And you might, because I get, you know, messages every single day. I teach people every single day about, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Once you sort of have at least an idea and something to compensate it, this is gonna become so much easier for you, the whole game. Perfection is unattainable, but we can make it easier and a little bit better. So the rib cage turn is simply that. We can do practice swings no, with no club, but just feeling like the only thing that's moving is this rib cage, this unit here, we're turning the core. And by doing that, the shoulders make a turn, the arms will follow, if you allow them to, and you will make a very nice complete backswing. Same before, you can turn the foot out if you need to. You can pull the right foot back. Again, we can add these couple of little elements if you have to. But if you only need the one, let's talk about turning that rib cage all the way back, maintaining that balance, and we have that consistency there. And the beauty of this is the rib cage also moves back this way. So it's not just a, a turn here. We're not losing our balance. We're staying centered. And that's where staying centered works perfectly because I want you to really almost imagine that there's a pole going all the way from the top a flagpole all the way down through me. We want to stay centered. And the easiest way to stay centered is to turn my rib cage around that point. This is going to remove so many variables. Okay, I'm allowing my hips to turn. I'm allowing my right leg to straighten. 
which is very important. We don't want to resist this too much here. Okay, we'll talk about, I'm going to do another quick video on that though. But stay centered. Turn your rib cage back around. Allow those arms to follow. And you will have a wonderful backswing and the ability to make a consistent through swing. So let's just walk through that, okay? Got my setup here. I've got my intermediate point that I'm tracking along. And now I'm going to turn that rib cage. And I made a nice golf swing. Very simple thought. And I can do that consistently throughout the round. So can you.